The next dimension of the diamond model is space. Space refers to the urgency and criticality of meeting a project's time goals. We know that each project is time constrained, but this constraint may change from project to project. Time constraints may come from either market's needs or compar competitive pressures, management strategies, or from contextual changes such as natural disaster, natural events, and or man-made events such as changes of legislation. Then we know that the same goal but with different timelines in a project may require different project structures, different project processes, and different management styles. In this part, we will explore the impact of project pace on project management. This slide details the concept of pace. Please read it on your own time. There are four levels of project pace. This classification is based on the degrees of urgency at the time of the project initiation. Urgency, then, is related to how critical the time of delivery is or simply to how much time is available. And the four levels of pace are regular, fast, competitive, time critical, and blitz. Regular projects, uh, in this case, there is the time is not critical to the success of the organization. In fast and competitive projects, project completion on time is important for the company's competitive advantage. In time critical projects, meeting time goals is absolutely critical for the success of the project. Any delays in time terms means project failure. Finally, in blitz projects are really crisis projects. There is a high level of urgency to complete the project as soon as possible. Projects with regular pace are usually associated to the achievement of long-term infrastructure goals, but with not real time pressure. This includes, for example, construction of public buildings, road buildings, organizational improvements such as re-engineering, and technology build-ups efforts. Although regular pace projects are planned for completion on a specific date, missing the deadline may be tolerated because time is not critical to the immediate organizational success. success. The case of the construction of the Sydney Opera House is a classic example of a regular pace project. There were no real pressure in the construction of this building. The building was completed 16 years after the initial date instead of the original six year period. This slide provides additional details about regular projects. Please read it on your own time. Fast and competitive projects are developed by industrial and for-profit organizations. In this case, priority is given to a timely completion of the project. The time of, com of project completion is directly associated with competitiveness, leadership positions, or organizational sustainability. Although missing the deadline may not be an issue, it may hurt profits competitive advantage or organizational strength. So, in fast competitive projects, the focus should be not only on meeting schedules times, but also on achieving, achieving profit goals and addressing customer and market, market needs. The construction of a bridge of a tunnel, for example, is a typical fast competitive project. In this slide, you can see additional details regarding fast and competitive projects. Please read it on your own time. In time critical projects, the completion date cannot be changed. This means that failing to meet 
the time goal means project failure. These projects are usually initiated to meet a specific window of opportunity that cannot be missed. The construction of the venues, sporting venues and village for the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games in 2018, for example, is a very good example of a critical time project. There was a specific opening day and that day couldn't be missed. In these projects, time, of course, is the most important critical constraint. All other aspects, such as budget, facilities, are made of secondary importance to enable on-time completion. This means that contingency plans must be prepared to deal with situations that may delay the completion. To overcome project uncertainties, usually project managers need to develop alternative solutions in parallel, that is to have a plan B and a plan C. If there is an issue, you will have another plan, another way forward with resources and you do not need to waste time in developing a new plan because time is the most critical aspects in this type of project. This slide details the concept of time critical projects. Please read it on your own time. Blitz projects are the most urgent projects. They are usually initiated in response to a crisis of the result of a natural or unexpected event. The most famous example of a blitz project and classical example is the case of the Apollo 13 that everybody will remember. There is even a film in which they show that the fuel tank exploded in the aircraft, in the spacecraft, and they had just few hours left before oxygen and power ran out. So they had to solve the issue within as soon as possible. There are of course other more down-to-earth examples such as the case that we have seen recently from time to time here in Australia when ATM machines of a bank just stop working and this is a blitz project because they need to rush and fix as soon as possible whatever is the problem. Another classical example uh, we can refer to that case that happened some few years ago with Virgin Australia, which stopped all their flights because of a failure in the interface between the ticketing system and the automating, automated baggage handling system. So aircraft were unable to put, uh, actually the uh, people from, air, from Earth were unable to put the baggage on aircrafts. And at the beginning, aircraft had to depart without baggage. But after some time, they couldn't do this anymore and they just stopped all the flies. Despite that the aircraft were running and they had the crew and everything was fine and customers were there and the baggage were there, but the system failure make an issue that they had to fix as soon as possible. So in this kind of projects, they need to be managed very differently from other projects. First, there is no time for a detailed planning. Although contingency plans may be useful, usually it is necessary sometimes even to improvise in order to proceed to get out of that situation. Work is usually done around the clock with a lot of interactions between decision makings and people who do the actual work. There is, of course, no time for a detailed documentation or report writing. All bureaucracy is eliminated. What is important in this type of projects is that managers of big projects must be given total autonomy. That is, they need to have a pure project structure and the manager needs to have all the resources, skills and knowledge that is necessary and autonomy in order to go ahead and solve the issue of the project. This means that in, means in in blitz projects, top managers must always be not only present, but also support all the time, continuously, to managers of the project. Now, it is important to notice that there is a difference between time-critical projects and blitz projects. In time-critical projects, there is a specific target date or window of opportunity, 
and this date is very well known well in advance. Contrary, so in this case, there is time to plan and prepare to meet the project deadlines. Conversely, in bridge projects, they emerge from a crisis. There is something unexpected. So there is no fixed day to fix, but there is the need to fix or solve the issue as soon as possible. Here we have additional details regarding the concept of blitz projects. Please read, read it on your own time. The importance of pace in project management can be illustrated using the case of the delivery of teaching at Griffith University in the context of the COVID-19 crisis. Before early March 2020, the courses were being delivered in normal way, that is, some courses online and other courses on face-to-face -face on campus. However, due to, due to the COVID-19 crisis, the university decided that by late March 2020, all courses need to be migrated to the on, on the online basis. This means that organizing core delivery at Griffith University moved from being a fast and competitive project to being a time critical project. That is, fast competitive project means that we had a specific day to complete the preparation of the course delivery. We have time and cost were important and this will support the competitive advantage of the university. So, of course, in order to do fast and competitive projects, the university, in this case, have plans, resources and training. So we plan for that in order to achieve our time and cost goals. However, when the corona crisis uh, emerged, this project of organizing the delivery of courses at the Griffith University moved and it became a more than time critical project. That is, the due date need to be met all in all cases. And the due date was that the, by the 30th of March, all courses had to be migrated to the online uh, mode. This means that this was a critical project because failing to do this project, that is migrating all courses to online mode, will be a failure to the university because this means that without online, students will not have lectures or workshops, and that is a failure. So in this case, cost and plans become secondary, and even training becomes secondary. The university provided a lot of supports, a lot of resources, but nobody was thinking on costs and plans and training. The goal was to do it as soon as possible because we had a very short window of opportunity in order to meet the new deadline of 30 of March. And this deadline, of course, was totally unplanned. And this is the nature of time critical projects. The major, the major difference between fast competitive projects, time critical and blitz projects is on the organizational structure used on the project the people engaged and the procedures and processes applied in the project. In, because fast competitive projects is the most common pace for industrial projects, this type of project usually use metrics or organizational structures with tight controls on project teams. Time critical projects is different because regular metrics, organizational metrics in this type of projects are usually insufficient to guarantee the project will meet their targets. In these cases, a pure project organization where all team members report directly to the project managers are usually recommended. Blitz projects, on the other hand, they have only one alternative, to use pure project organization structures. That is, an organization structures that is autonomous, independent, and have all the resources, skill, and decision-making power in order to do the work. The pace of projects also impacts the autonomy of the team. In Blitz projects, teams are very focused on time, more than in, other, in any other type of project. 
that is, they need to be released from any other commitment in order to solve a crisis situation. Usually, this team need to form a task force, force with total autonomy to make all the decisions on the spot in order to address the issue. They do not need to follow or they do not need to worry with procedures or bureaucracy. They do not need to write any extensive documentation or report. The point is to solve the problem as soon as possible. This means, of course, that in Blitz projects, they can also benefit for prepared contingency plans that can be written in anticipation for possible crisis scenarios. These plans may help teams to tell them what to do and how to do in a specific situations. However, we know that it's not always possible to predict all contingency plans, or it's not possible to predict all contingencies, then the solution is to get improvisation, to use improvisation, that is to work immediately and build plans as we proceed developing the project. Efficiency is not important. Efficiency can be sacrificed because in Blitz projects, what is important is a quick solution of the issues is more important than saving resources to the organization. In order to better to know this concept of pace, eh, please review the iPod case and try to apply the concepts and develop and answer the questions that are in the next slide. We will discuss this case during our workshop and our online discussion session.